Okay. You mentioned you're going to America and you're going to, you know, get your music out there. How do you feel your international audience receives your music? And speak about Nigerian music mm. in general, because we're seeing a lot of artists go out there. Mm. Do you feel like our music is now really becoming international? Definitely it is already. It's, I'm not feeling like it is already it's international already because they are accepting Afrobeat, they are accepting our music right now. They want to actually um, buy into what we're doing, they're trying to get to us. So right now we don't need them, they need us more. So that's why we're going there, because they need us. Because they need you, that's yes. why you're going there. But what influences do you feel that um, the music in the West ha has actually had in our Nigerian music? A lot, a lot, because we still do a lot. We, most of the sounds that we use, we sample from them. They, they do all the hardware, software that we use. And so we listen to them and then we try to do what they do, but in our own way. So do you feel like we're fusing the Western sound with the Nigerian sound together? Every time. So then that means they, you still need them and they still need you. But they don't know. I think they need us more right now. They don't know. But they, they just feel like, oh, they like the way we do it, different from the way they do it. But we, we use what they produce and we change it. So well, what's your view about Nigerian musicians going out of the country to shoot their videos? Uh, it's, it's cool sometimes because you just want to change the weather. It's not like we don't have everything that we need here to shoot the video. We just want to change the environment. Likewise, Americans also come to Africa to shoot their video because they just want to get a different environment. So yeah. it's not because we don't have the capacity, but we want to change the weather. Yeah, I don't, yes, we have the capacity. When it comes to uh, 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 music videos, I think we have it. We have all we need. Here. So are you pro abroad or pro Nigeria in terms of shooting music videos? Nigeria for me. Nigeria. Yeah. You show all your videos here in Nigeria? Yeah, mostly all. Okay. But few in the UK. Okay. Very, uh, just... And what has that experience been like? It's a good experience. It's easy. Everything is done easily, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a good experience, but it's still done properly here. We depend on who you're working with, you know, like if you're working with Clarence A. Peters, yeah, it's, it's easy. Okay. You know, great, great guy. Okay. Thank you very much, but please don't go anywhere. The entertainment segment of Robbie Minds continues after this quick break. <laughs> You're still tuned in to Robbie Minds, and we are on the entertainment segment, The Last Lap, and I have with me Mr. 2K. So we're talking about music being more than just bang bati mm -hmm. Do you feel that musicians today in Nigeria are under a lot of pressure to create the next hit, and because of that, they sacrifice their lyrics, so they're thinking mm -hmm. about the beat instead of the message? Um, I, I think it's more, it's more about the beat these days, uh, not when... There are still good music out there, but the ones that, that, that they want to play in the club is not the ones with, with the message. They just want the beat so they can dance. So that's the essence. So most music that this is just the club, club music. The club music, they just want to dance, dance, dance. That's it. So that's why they do such music. So you don't have to say too much. Just say one or two things and you repeat it over and over and over again. And that's easy. So it, it's also easy for the artist because you're not going to stress yourself to think to write too much. You just write a few things and then you're done. So the beat does it all for you, or you just have one hook or two or three hooks in the song. So, so do you think people are getting into the music industry for the fame, the money, or do you think it's really about craftsmanship and, you know, musicianship? Um, I can't say for a lot, but most people are just there for the fame. You understand? Most Some people are there for the fame and, and, and what comes next, you know, when you get the fame. And, but... That's just for some people, but it's also a big, uh, it's, a, it's a huge investment at the end of the day. So, so you said they come for the fame and what comes after it. Yeah. Some would argue that baby mamas are part of the music deal <laughs> now. Like, what is your own view on that? <laughs> baby mamas part of the deal, I don't know. Has been <laughs> I mean, you are popular, you're in the media, so I'm sure that you'd be getting a lot of female attention. <laughs> because, you know what, it's funny, because I have, I have a kid. Already, so like when you talk about it, I'm like, okay, I have a baby mama as well, is it? So like, I mean, in those, it's, just, it's just like, even right from the Bible, it's been like that. Music and women goes together. Music and women yeah, go together. So is, like. is marriage on the cards? Like, any plans to settle down? No, yet. Okay. But definitely in the future, yes. Are you single and searching or just focusing um, on the music? I'm just focusing on my music. Um, just doing my thing. I'm single, but I don't think I'm searching. Okay, so yeah. nobody should slide into the DM. They can. Oh, they can? Yeah, they, they do that a lot. So okay. just talk to the ones I feel like talking to. So do you feel being popular and being in the public eye that you're a role model to the young generation? Yes, 
I feel so because um, the kind of life I live, a lot of people actually uh, idolize me as well. So basically, they try to do what I do. Um, so I think it's, I feel so. So, you know, today is International Youth Day. How are you using your position as a celebrity, as a musician, to really get the youth engaged, especially in politics, you know, go and get your, your PVC? Do you have your PVC? Mm, honestly, I don't. You don't have your PVC. Yes, are um, you telling people to get their PVCs? I'm telling people to get their PVCs, yes, because I tried to get my PVC in Port Harcourt, but it was quite difficult because the queue was too much and everything, and they have to... And I said we should come back the next day. So it's been difficult for me to get it. And well, so I would like to get it in my state, in River State, you know. So not getting it here and then I can't go to put okay. her to vote. So do you know the whole transfer stuff is really but I'm not I'll I'll definitely do You'll that. definitely get your yeah. PVC yeah. and very quickly mm. as Mr. Two K, mm. like can we expect to see you in political, you know, jingles, you know, coming out to sing for politicians, making your music commercial for that purpose? I, I'm a musician. I'm not a politician. So if I'm paid to do that, I'll do it. You understand? So I'm not in any party, this party or that party, you know, but, you know, if I'm paid to do it, I'll do it. That's why I do music. I do music. So if you want my services and you pay me, I come and do my stuff and I go away. That's it. Okay. And finally, what can we expect in the nearest future? I expect um, something great from Mr. 2K, more albums to come, um, more, more deals by the grace of God. And things are happening. More will keep happening. Thank you so much for being a part of Robin Minds today. And Thanks that's where we will be ending the show. Please continue the conversation online using the hashtag Robin Minds. Do follow us at YNIJAR Television on Instagram and YNIJAR TV on Twitter. My name is Isabella Akinche. Thank you for tuning in to Robin Minds.